iOS 26 Beta 7 and iOS 26 Public Beta 4 are here. Here are the top five features you should know. Within battery on iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, and all iPhone 16 series models, if we go under power mode, we have adaptive power. While this isn't new, we have a new option for adaptive power notifications. This before would just send you a notification, now you have the option to turn it off. If we go into the Messages app, and in the menu in the upper right, we now have an option for Drafts. Within Drafts, you can compose a message, maybe come back later and finish it, or you can delete it altogether. So you'll see it keeps what you were typing, or you can go back and delete it if you'd like to do that, and remove it from all conversations across all devices. In the United States, on the Apple Watch, Apple added back the Blood Oxygen feature on the Series 9, Series 10, and and Apple Watch Ultra 2. This started to release with iOS 18.6.1 to the public and watchOS 11.6.1, but now it works in watchOS 26 Beta 7 and iOS 26 Beta 7. One thing to note about this is if you had the feature before this, it will still work, but if you bought an Apple Watch in the United States after January of 2024, the option just didn't work. You would go into it and it would say that it was disabled. Now you can record your blood oxygen and then view it on your iPhone under the health app. If we go into health and you can see it in the health app with your results and it will measure in the background. You're unable to see it on the Apple Watch due to a legal reason in the United States, but anywhere around the world that already had it or if your previous Apple Watch had it, it's not affected. Also, if you're using the Xcode Previews app, they've now added an option for a clear icon. You can set clear icons by pressing and holding on the home screen, going to edit and then customize, and then going to clear at the bottom, and you'll now have that for the Xcode Dev app as well. Also in this update, everything is just super fluid altogether. You've got a nice bouncy effect that they introduced a couple betas ago within the control center. Opening and closing apps is super fast, going into different apps and going back out, everything is just super smooth, fluid, and fast. If you go into the camera, go back out, it works as you would expect, and they're really refining it this time around. So while we do have a lot more changes and updates, those are the new ones in Beta 7. And for even more details, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe.